What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts and this is another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. Today we're taking a look at the best Jimmy Butler build and Jimmy Butler is one of my favorite personalities in the league. He has that 6'6 to 6'8 build with the athleticism and plays both ends really well. He's a true competitor and he's not afraid to go after that win and he started in Chicago and was shaping up to be Derrick Rose's companion in the backcourt but unfortunately injuries had gotten to Rose and then he sort of went at it on his own in the shy for a few seasons before he got traded to Minnesota and had a solid season there also before getting traded to Philly after infamously holding out in the preseason then dogging Cat and Wiggins at that practice. Now he's in Miami and at the time of recording is playing in the NBA Finals and I really hope he gets that ring if not for the entire 2011-2012 Bulls team except for Rip Hamilton. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be small forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I'm just going to go with 22 because that's the number that he currently wears. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the yellow and red pie chart instead of the blue and red pie chart. And the reason for that is because the shooting stats are a little bit better. And I know that Jimmy Butler hasn't been shooting really well as of late, like the last couple seasons. But the blue and red pie chart is going to give us too much athleticism. Like he's not, he's a good dunker, but he's not like a top 10 dunker in the league or even like a top 25 dunker in the league. Uh, plus, we need those playmaking attributes, not necessarily the playmaking badges, though. So we're going to go with the yellow and red pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're gonna go with the balanced physical profile. Now for your attributes, for close shot, you're gonna bring it up to the max, 84. Max out your driving layup. Max out your driving dunk to 78. Max out your standing dunk to 75. And bring your post hook up to 32. And that's gonna give you 10 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot. Max out your three-point shot. Bring your free throw up to the max and bring your post fade up one, and that's gonna give you seven shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to 77, bring your ball handling up to the max, 77, and that's gonna give you 15 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to max out your interior defense, max out your perimeter defense, max out your lateral quickness, bring your steal up to the max, and you're going to max out your defensive rebounding. And that's gonna give you 18 playmaking badges. So 10 finishing, seven shooting, 15 playmaking, and 18 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 50 badges. Body shape doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with defined height. Now, Jimmy Butler is actually 6'7", but I wanna help out with his interior defense just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring him down to 6'6". Six, six. And for the weight, now he's also a pretty solid interior defender as well. So I'm going to have to bring up the weight now, which I wouldn't have to do so much if I had just left him at 6'7". But for his weight, I'm going to bring it all the way up to 251. And for the wingspan, you're going to bring it up to 85.2. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 90, an 85 driving layup, an 84 driving dunk. So you will get the pro contact dunks and an 81 standing dunk. For your shooting stats, you'll have a 75 mid-range shot, a 67 three-point shot, an 86 free throw. And for your playmaking stats, your pass accuracy will be at an 82, your ball handle will be at an 84, but you will have all the pro dribble moves unlock off rip, and you'll be able to speed boost once you get 99 overall with the gym rat badge. And for your defense and rebounding, you'll have a 70 interior defense, an 89 perimeter defense, an 89 lateral quickness, a 91 steal, a 46 offensive rebound, and an 82 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rat badge will be 89 for speed, 87 for acceleration, 89 for vert, and 83 for strength. For the takeover, you can either go with the lockdown defender takeover, slasher takeover, or the shot creator takeover. I'm just gonna go with the lockdown defender takeover though. And the build is complete and you have built a two-way slasher, shades of Chris Mullen, Jimmy Butler, and Kelly Oubre Jr. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on silver, consistent finisher on bronze, contact finisher on silver, fancy footwork on bronze, pro touch on bronze, put back boss on bronze, and relentless finisher on silver. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put clutch shooter on bronze, 
difficult shot on silver, green machine on bronze, hot start on bronze, and volume shooter on silver. For your playmaking badge, you're going to put bailout on gold, downhill on gold, quick first step on gold, space crater on gold, and stop and go on gold. Lastly, for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put chase down artist on bronze, clamps on gold, defensive leader on bronze, heart crusher on silver, interceptor on bronze, intimidator on gold, off ball pest on bronze, pick dodger on silver, pick pocket on silver, and pogo stick on silver. All right, everyone, this has been the best Jimmy Butler build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for current gen and when next gen comes out i'll be making builds for next gen as well so that's why you want to be subscribed so you don't miss a thing last but not least thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace